going on people this is said of sketching with said Ted 2 as I promised I'm bringing you the review of the two episodes they let us see of X and Y the series um, basically it starts off Ash with Alexia that you would have seen in Pokemon black and white Unova uh, region Unova and beyond they just dropped that new season um, and basically he arrives in the Kalos region and he is typical Ash. I'm going to challenge, I'm ready to challenge my first gym and all that. He basically falls down the steps from the airplane and Team Rock is up on the, um, the roof of the airport basically looking at Ash make a joke of himself falling down the steps. It's a typical twerk entrance and um then you catch a glimpse of Mega Blaziken <laughs> standing up in the sky on top of the, the, the watchtower and I'm like yo that's Mega Blaziken my, my favorite Pokemon Blaziken is my favorite Pokemon fire Pokemon next to Eferna I always say this but um yeah so Blaziken basically jumps down and jumps over Ash and takes off basically in like crazy speed and Ash and Pikachu look at each other like was that just and they just like shouted yeah so he ran in to go find Alexia because Alexia wanted to go call her sister because her sister runs a, a basically a Pokemon gym so oh yeah spoiler the, the, the cartoon starts off with his I guess his rival or whatever you want to call it Serena it basically starts off exactly like Pokemon X and Y the game. I actually seen some of the walkthroughs for the game. And don't you know how Flexion flies through and all that. Basically Flexion hits her with Peck and she just loses it. And Rhino, Rhino, Rhinohorn is outside the house. Yeah, basically the beginning of Pokemon X and Y the game. So, Ash is running through the city. Oh, well, Alexia and Ash splits, splits ways. Ash running through the city, seeing new Pokemon. All the Pokemon in the XOR region, you see the Metachain, you see the, the Ampros, Pokemon that they recognize. And then he runs in, runs to the first gym at Prisma Tower and come to find out that you had to have four badges to either fight at that gym. And so the gym computer is, sounds almost like Jarvis from the Avenger. Basically says, start freaking out why you don't have four badges and basically zaps Ash. It seems like electricity and Ash just mixes together. So basically it kicks Ash out the gym. The whole computer kicks Ash out the gym and um he meets Clemens and his sister. Basically they um see the the sister court while well, Ash don't fall out the building. Clemens catches Ash on his little air contraction like stunt balloon that he keeps in his backpack he's like he has a, a specter gadget backpack almost and you see a cut and his sister catches Pikachu and start hugging Pikachu and Pikachu freaks out and just start zapping everybody and you see a cut scene to Froki like hanging on the side of the building like watching over so that sets you up right there to let you know that Ash is about to get Froki so um Ash and Clemens has a battle. Um, Clemens just caught a, uh, uh, I can't remember the name of the Pokemon, but it's like the Maneri of the Kalos region. So they have a battle. And long and behold, Team Rocket comes in and ruin it. And they start the battle against uh, Team Rocket, and they still have Wobbuffet. Wobbuffet has learned Miracle, so basically all these special attacks that Pikachu knows it reflects right back. So, Froki joins the battle. They defeat Team Rocket. They send Team Rocket off. You run Froki to the Pokemon um, lab where Professor, where they meet Professor Sycamore with the Naruto whiskers. And um, basically, Froki is getting um, getting treated. They meet Guard Chop, and then they cut to all the Pokemon that's at the Pokemon lab. And basically, Professor Sycamore tells Ash about Mega Evolution, saying that it's possible that Mega you know, Garchomp can go go beyond 
guard chop and turn into what we call mega evolution, basically. So, so as Professor Sycamore is um, sitting there explaining the, the, his research about mega evolution, Team Rock is on top of the dome listening in, listening about mega evolution, and Wild Buffett hops out his Pokeball in his typical wild effect form. So cutscene to typical Team Rocket dressing up in disguises, acting like researchers. They got this new capture device that you send it around, throw it around, catching it around a Pokemon neck and tries to turn the Pokemon. Basically a, a new way of catching Pokemon for them. And so Garchomp tries to fight it off, and he just loses it. Starts shadow balling all over the place. Not shadow ball. I forgot what the attack is called. But start freaking out, just destroying the place. Um, shot Team Rocket out of there. They start. He loses control basically, and just like start destroying the place. He runs off into the street, and Ash goes to go go chase after it. Him and Pikachu and Froggy jumps in front of him and say he want, basically tell him he wants to go. So they all run out at the guard shop. Professor Sycamore yells out, "Be safe!" And um, basically, long story sh long story short, they chase his guard shop all the way down to Prisma Tower, and come to find out, Clemens is the I guess Ash finds out Clemens is the gym leader or whatever. And they get him into the building. Ash goes to the top of the building to try to save Garchomp. Basically, they, Ash and Pikachu and Froggy go to the top of the building to try to stop um, Garchomp or whatever. Garchomp flies to the very top of the building. All the news, everybody, Professor uh, Sycamore, uh, Officer Jenny, and the news is there basically. And um, Serena and her mom is at home watching on the TV basically. And Serena, they're just sitting there watching it, and I'm like, like, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening, type look on their faces. And basically what happens is that when they get, like, when they get to the very top of the building, Guard Chop is, like, freaking out, and he's just stepping backwards. Froki sends out this type of foam stuff and stuck his, like, feet to the floor, basically, to keep him from falling. And... Long story short, they save Garchomp. Um, Pikachu falls through the ground, and Ash, like Ash, goes jump and goes see his Pikachu. Everybody's freaking out like they think Ash is jumping to his death, and basically, um, out of nowhere, Mega Blazer King comes out and catches Pikachu and Ash, drops him off, and flies up into this masked man that has a Blazer King mask on, and basically. For Sycamore saying, I'm glad you're safe. And he basically tells Ash that that's Mega Blaziken. And uh, Ash yells out, thank Mega Blaziken. And basically, Serena f figures it out that that might be a person from her childhood. And she's out there feeding Ron Horn, basically. And basically, saying, can't wait to see what's about to happen. My review, this is my review of Pokemon X and Y, X, y the series. Well, I think it's going to be a good series when they finally upload, show the rest of the season. Yes, I do. I'm actually a joint. I enjoyed them two episodes. This is my review. I hope you like it. It's my first time doing a review, so I'm sorry if I sound a little nervous. But uh, like, comment, subscribe. Share this with your friends. This video, I will redo it into a time lapse. We'll probably with some music. And the mo the review I did of Genesec, the Legend of Awaken review, I'm going to do that again in a sort of time lapse. So, if you don't want to see what we're talking, cool with me. But um, this is my review. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Peace.